Did you watch Arcane and wanted to play League of Legends but realize Law is still cancer? Are you enough of a masochist to keep getting one shot by a keto fingered opera? Do you really just want to blast the dinky toddlers that got no equipment for Christmas? Then this is the game for you. Welcome to an eccentric introduction to Valorant. Valorant is like the love child of CSGO and Overwatch, and some people may say, why not just play one of those games instead? Well, because even I don't hate myself enough to play Russian Biat Simulator, and I refuse to play Overwatch because... Um... Uh... In Valorant, you must shoot your doppelgangers for some reason explained in the story. Don't ask me to explain it, I refuse to read anything more than a paragraph of a video game's lore. I mean, I've played story based games without reading, see if I give a fuck as to why I see two dying mommies instead of one. Now, because the game works like CSGO, it of course has an economy and a shop that has a huge assortment of guns that suit every kind of playstyle. That being said, the only gun worth buying is Odin, Odin, and the glorious power of God Odin. Why? Well, there's a special kind of happiness that you can only obtain when you have enough money to full buy an Odin round 2 and you start running it down B. Of course, if you're a beta male, you could always just buy an op and whip out your dick as everyone dies from entering your line of sight. Which my response to that strategy is, you have a very nice cock bro and I'm sure you get laid very often, but the only problem is, I didn't ask to see it. And you're a fucking cunt. That being said, you have more than just guns to defend yourself from the power hungry gamer that plays shooters 25 hours a day. Every character actually has access to multiple abilities that range from turrets to flashes and even abilities that make it so you can't use yours and fucking hell is this just CSGO again? No but seriously, each agent's abilities are important for defending areas or pushing into them. Although a very important question is, why are we paying for them? That being said, every character has a bit of their own playstyle and personality, so let's do a quick rundown of them. Knitting Expert, Obama's Drone Striker, please step on me, the best agent in the game, no I'm not biased, Siege Camera Simulator, Hansel Ripoff, E-Girl Pocket Healer, Diversity Hire, Toxic Gamer, Sweatiest Tryhard, and the Mexican Cartel. It really is your fault for dying to her ult. How dare you be anywhere near her at any time. Lamau who? Furry wannabe. Escape magician. What are you saying? Let me play the fucking game. And baguette controller callback. Leaving that aside, there's a variety of maps to play that range from fun ones, to maps where I swear to god they were only made to nerf Odin, to oh you're playing on the fence? <laughs> uh, good luck. Also, if you're into cosmetics to flex your mom's wallet, then you can buy some pretty cool skins and effects and even upgrade them for... Uh, never mind. But you know what won't cost you a stupid amount of money? Following me on Twitter, it's free and everyone knows that the best things in life are free, like air, water, Odin's, okay bad examples. But if you follow me, I will give you a doodle I made in 5 minutes. It's a win-win situation really. You get god tier art, and I get to eat the crayons afterwards. But all in all, is Valorant a good game? Well, yes. If you're okay with your eyes being incinerated from all the flashes your own team will hit you with. 